All right, we're here with Metro State head coach Annie Van Wessinga and student athletes, senior pitcher Aubrey Mall and sophomore designated player Katie DeGuero. Uh, head coach, uh, could you just open up a couple statements, please? Yeah, um, obviously we we know what kind of team that we're going up we were going up against today. Um, very good offensively and defensively. Um, we knew we couldn't make. Uh, any mistakes on defense, um, we can't we can't give a team like that extra opportunities. Um, and unfortunately, we um, we did we gave up the six run inning, which obviously was a bit of a you know that's going to be super hard against a team like that to come back from. But I was really happy, really proud with the way we did fight back offensively. I thought our our bats got much better. Um, and you know after an inning like that against a team like like uh, West Texas, it'd be kind of easy to go here. And um, just really happy our team didn't. We, we fought back and had some really good at-bats. Um, obviously, these two here had, had uh, big hits also. So Coach, talk about that lineup. It's tough. Uh, they they're do, Not only can they hit home runs, they're very good at being patient in the plate, drawing those walks. Uh, how tough is it to face a lineup like that? Um, obviously tough. You know, um, they are very uh, plate disciplined. Um, being at home and being in uh, this environment, and uh, they're obviously very comfortable with it, and they know how to work the count and work the zone that they get, um, so they can kind of sit back and, and wait for the pitch to come to them. And um, yeah, they have a very good combination, extremely good combination of plate discipline, power, and speed. So again, that's why um, you really have to be really good at getting ahead in the count, and then when they give you those ground balls, you gotta be able to you gotta be able to take the outs they give you. Um, so yeah, it, it's a tough it's a tough lineup. You got through that first inning, with just one run. Obviously, uh, they do an incredible job scoring in that first inning. After that, kind of what, what did you see from your end? Obviously, the walks were kind of adding up on you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think um, maybe a little rattled the walks a little bit. It took us a while to adjust to the zone. I would like to see it a little bit sooner, but. Um, Again, um, I saw us at least staying together, which was nice. Um, I know we were down here earlier and kind of had a similar situation where I thought we went uh, went flatter um, in other games of earlier in the year. And I, again, I just I saw our team at least sticking together, um, trying to stick with our plan and get better every inning, which was nice. Aubrey, can you talk about the fight in this team? Uh, we've seen it all season long where no one's ready to give up despite whatever the deficit. I think that's why you're here right now is knowing that no matter what the score, you guys are going to be right in it. Yeah, we always put up a fight. Um, we never give up even if we get down in the first couple innings, and that's a great thing about our team. So, you know, we're going to come out in this next game and do the same thing, just fight hard. How tough is it to go through that lineup like that? It seems like they have so much speed out there. They could play discipline, as Coach said. It's got to be tough to have to face a lineup that one through nine. They're pretty solid. Yeah, they're all great hitters. Um, you know, like Coach said, we just had too many walks, and we just have to take care of the ball better next time. Katie, can you talk about your shot and what you saw out there? I mean, that was a blast over there in my field. Um, I mean, it felt good. I just wanted to get some runs in for our team. We got to get us going. Um, we need more runs, obviously. It's how you win a ball game, but it felt pretty good. Talk about your your perspective on the fight in this team and never giving up and just trying to stay with it. I think it's a great group of girls. Like we never give up. We've gone through a lot this season, and but we've made it really far. And I don't think we'll give up. Talk about what Coach said after the game. I mean, you're not out. You still have another game. You still have a chance to get through this tournament. What are some of the things she said to you? Um, she said we need to keep fighting. Like she said, after the six run inning, we didn't give up, and it's really easy to just get down. But our team won't do that. We'll keep fighting through every game. What are some of the things you want to see different coach there in the, in the next game tonight, just a couple hours away? What are some of the things you want to see going forward? Um, I'd like uh, from the get-go us to have a little bit more plate discipline. Um, all game, it, the ones, the games we've watched, the, the games we've been in this weekend, I think it's fair to say it's been a pretty tight zone. And so we need. I would like to see a little bit more plate discipline um, and patient, patience, wait for our pitch. Uh, that's how we got back into the game today with our four-run inning was waiting for ours, you know, waiting for our pitch, and if we don't get it, take the walk. Um, uh, especially when you got to answer back or you're trying to extend the lead, it all starts with base runners. Um, uh, one run home runs are great, you can get the team fired up, but when you can get one or two people on base and then you really capitalize, that's when you can really get things rolling. Um, that's what happened yesterday for us when we had the big, 
the beginning. Um, starts with base runners. So I think the first thing I'd like to see is play discipline, and the other thing is just us stay kind of like in attack mode, um, stay confident, and um, again, this next game is just nothing but another opportunity to play the game and play it hard. Any further questions? Okay, Metro State will play the winner of Texas Women's and Midwestern State University tonight at 6.30 p.m.